Hey guys, welcome back if you're back to my channel. If you're near here for the first time, just be aware I've got all kinds of uh, streamlit apps. I've got all kinds of stuff, so check out the rest of my channel. I'll get into that later. Now let's get into this. This is a language detection web app with Streamlit. As you can see, we're going to make our first prediction. This is in Russian. It's going to predict, and it's going to look just like this. Yay, there we go. Okay. Anyways, guys, um, if you don't want to make a web app, just see my other video um, for language detection model. And it's with a different data set on that one. It's a smaller one. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, let's get into it now, right? Okay, so we're going to use this data set. There's 22 languages, right? This one is a little bigger than that other video I did where we didn't turn it into a web app. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's get into the code first because we're going to go with a good model. Uh, first, import NumPy as NP. Remember, you can use Jupyter Notebook or you can use Google Colab. It doesn't matter. And pandas is NP. Re, DF equals read. DF head. As you can see, there's only text and language. Info. X equals text. Y equals language. And we're going to do a little data pre-processing with re for x, for text and x, re sub, text, text, lower, and then append. Okay. DF head. But we don't need to do this when we go into the GitHub later. Um, I'll show you guys. And we're not going to save the models a pickle because the model's too big to save as a pickle file. Anyways, with the counter vectorizer, we're going to fit transform x at the same time it's x, and then... Test size 20 for multinomial NB and model fit. Then we're going to do a little cross validation. As you can see, it's 95% F1 score. Then we're going to do two predictions. In English, yes, it's English. Okay, we, we uh, for the text is a string, transform text to array, model predict data, data. Same thing down there in Russian. Okay, and uh, if you guys know another um, uh, platform, if you guys know another repository where you guys can uh, save the model uh, and you guys can upload it, uh, and it doesn't matter that it's more than 25 megabytes, feel free to save it as a pickle file. Although... Um, you might have a little difficulty deploying the Streamlit Cloud. However, there's other, other clouds you can deploy to. Um, anyways, guys, see um, one of my other videos for Render Cloud. I deploy Streamlit apps there as well. And also see a lot of my other videos for ML Pipelines and uh, with SageMaker. See a lot of my other videos for Convolutional Neural Networks. And see my other videos for... Um, Many things, including Google Cloud deployments, Azure deployments, you name it, I got it on my channel. I've got deployment videos and non-deployment videos as well. Anyways, guys, uh, check out my channel if you guys are here for the first time. Or you guys have been back, but you guys haven't really checked it out. You guys have just came back for what you needed. There's, there may be more you need. I mean, I got reinforcement learning for trading and with OpenAI Gym. Anyways, guys, let's get to the web app part. Uh, let's also serve another prediction. Okay. Sorry. English. There we go. Now, let's serve another prediction, but we'll predict it later. Um, I'll get into the code in a second.
And let's pretend somebody was responding. Okay, we'll predict that in a second. Anyways, guys, you guys are going to need your at py folder and your data set from uh, download it and your text requirements. Now, for your text requirements, um, let me guys show you something cool because we don't need a couple of these things. So here's the thing. When you deploy it, and I'll jump, we're skipping ahead for a second, and I'm going to show you guys something. When you guys commit it to GitHub and you guys make a change, watch this. It updates the new code. Watch this. Well, let me predict first. Spanish. There we go. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, it made the changes right there. Anyways, guys, let's jump into the code. Uh, requirements text, your data set, and app py, what you're going to name it. And I'll jump into that part for later for deploying. Okay, streamlet is uh, st. Let me move my screen. Import np. You guys actually don't need pickle file and string. Um, because uh, I found out it was too big. Anyways, I left it on there. Um, set option for let up encoder false. Okay, read the data set. MP equals DF text language. Why? Counter vectorizer fit transform X train Y train. Test size 20%. Multinomial NB. X train Y train. Okay, model fit X train Y train. DF main. And then this is if you guys want. You guys can put headers and texts. Review, pred text, enter your language. The streamlet button, remember? Enter your language. Enter your language. Okay, fit transform, just like we did over here, remember? That's how I got it to work. Updated text, ST, write results. There we go. Anyways, guys, um, let me show you something. When you guys set up your account, it's going to say deploy an app, right? Here's a previous video I did, and then here's the main Y file at this branch main. Deploy, that simple. That's all you got to do. Now, I would test it out for you guys, but I don't know any other languages other than the three, like at all, that are on this list. Don't know any Korean or Arabic. And if I did, I don't get the keyboard for those ones. Let me get the keyboard for on this one for Russian. For Russian and English. Anyways, guys, um, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you like the video. Also, guys, uh, share too with other people. And uh, if you're new to my channel, check out some of my other videos like I was telling you about earlier. I've got them all. You name it, I got it on my channel. Also, guys, uh, when I get to 10,000 subscribers, I told you I'm going to do a ML pipeline on GCP. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to get back on uh, AWS with SageMaker. No more SageMaker ML Ops pipelines. I've already uh, done plenty of those. I've already done pretty much every model except the image classification, which I'm going to get to. Don't you guys worry about that one. Anyways, guys, um, also, check out my channel. Um, I've got everything from um, time series, all kinds of convolutional neural networks, multi-class, binary class, 
you guys name it, I got it. And uh, also on my channel, uh, I've got Azure deployments, like I mentioned before. Reinforcement learning, reinforcement learning for trading. You guys name it, I got it. So anyways, guys, also, if you're here for the first time, I guarantee you, there's probably something you need. So feel free to check out my channel. Also, uh, share with other people who might need it as well. And uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you want. And also, take care, guys. I'll see you guys next time. And next time, we're going to do something creative as well. Okay, guys. Um, take care. Bye.